Hey guys, JJ Jester here again, and I have kind of an update to yesterday's build. Um, now I had said on this one, this is basically the uh, old setup. I had said there was issues when it came to the hoppers, <clears throat> and it being very unpredictable when you came, entered, or exited the game, then came back. These two right here would be very unpredictable. So I wanted to change that and make the build a little more stable. So I came up with this here. I'm going to go ahead and break this back here. So that you guys can see what's going on here. Alright, now we have our repeater that is basically... A, if you didn't have this in the... Uh, <clears throat> vending machine set up here uh, your repeater where your button would be or actually where your redstone is is where your button would be you got your repeater going into torches which is going into the block into one of the droppers but also you have a repeater going into this middle block with the dropper there passing through to this repeater into the block torch block dropper again and basically this makes everything a little more stable than the other setup because the other setup you know you had the blocks all touch you had one block that was touching both droppers on one side now you have nothing connecting nothing causes any issues um, I'm going to go ahead and build it for you guys real quick. And it's still one wide tile. <clears throat> Alright, so. We'll go ahead and drop some stuff in here. Hey, repeater gone. See, so you don't need comparator, so we'll go ahead and replace that with the repeater. Which is right in front of my face and couldn't see it simple setup on this one too. There's nothing to this one. And then drop a block there. Drop a block there. And we'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop this. Don't need it. And bring in the dropper. Alright. We'll drop a dropper there. I'm going to go ahead and put a block here. I'm going to go ahead and put a button on there later on. We'll go, we'll put this one there. Yeah. One there. I'm going to bring the block out. And not touch that. And bring it up. Whoops. Not what I want to do. And drop that there. And just so you guys can see the order, and the order does not change, no matter how much. You can mess with the, the repeaters if you want, but uh, the good thing is it doesn't, it doesn't really mess up. Let's see, we'll put our white one here, our red one here, and we'll put that there. And I'll go ahead and drop a button on the side of it. Now, as you can see, your bottom went first. Ugh. Your bottom went first, and then uh, it went this one down here, this one, and then that one. <clears throat> your bottom one's going to go first because of the torches. It doesn't have any torches to mess with, and then it's going to come back to this one because this is your first torch. That's going to be the first torch to go off. Then this one. Now, if you really wanted to, you can mess with it. But I don't see any need to. There's no need to mess with the repeaters by taking them off of one tick. The repeaters are there just so that you can have this tileable. Um, you put the uh, anything in place of the repeaters. You know, things are going to connect together and... It's not going to pass through the block like 
it's needed in this build. So this right here is the setup for the tiles. Um, and if you decide to put it into a uh, vending machine like I have, or just doing the regular potion brewer, the, a regular potion brewing system with this uh, works just fine. It's the same way that you know I've showed you guys on other, all the other ones. And I actually showed it the other day. You know, just put your stuff here, your sign, what it is, button on the back, and just tile them. That's all there is. These, you just put them right next to each other and you're good to go. Bring your one line of hoppers down, whichever you know, direction you decide to take it out. I tend to always go to the left. But um, that's about it, guys. Um, I just wanted to do this little setup here. Um, I'll tell you, since I've been building these, uh, you know this is like my third one I built this took me about five minutes so they're not it's not a difficult build um, the only thing that's changed in my last video was the tiles you know the encoder decoder it's the same the automatic sorting nothing's changed I added a little light in there for when you go in to collect um, but that's about it. There is uh, nothing's changed as far as any um, anything I've done. I just wanted to come up with a better tile, uh, a better potion res or recipe system, I guess, because you know this is going to be the order of your recipes. Um, that's why I told you which ones are going to go first and you know you can experiment with it but it's basically going to be one two and three your bat your one nearest your button is going to be two and then three and like I said because of the way um, the signal has to travel it has to go through the repeaters turns off torches and then it, well, turns off torch, then turns off the other one, but your first torch is going to be number two. And that's the way it's going to flow. It is alterable, but there's really no need to. But uh, that's it, guys. I want to do a quick little video for this, um, just in case, you know, you guys wanted to do this. And like I said, um, it does not take long. I mean, this is actually so quick to knock these things out I'm actually gonna expand this for you guys so you can see how fast it will go because the way I did it I just built in layers just like I built this tile I built it from the bottom up it makes it go quicker The longest, the thing that's going to take you the longest amount of time is going to be, um, I'm actually going to take that out of there, is going to be doing your signs. I found that was the longest thing that took me the longest amount of time. Simple.
and then uh, from here you just bring it down to wherever you want it to go. I'm going to go ahead and actually just drop it. Whoops. Right there. I'm actually going to just drop this one. And actually, I shouldn't have put that one there. I'm going to put that. I'm getting a getting ahead of myself all right there have it uh, let's see right there all right now this setup here simplest um, I only did it so put the brewing stand so far back because of the fact that uh, um, it's less on the hoppers anyway so I, I mean you can bring it out flush if you want it but that is how quick that goes your buttons and you're done there's your post and brewing system just remember when you're filling this up one two three and that's it guys this is probably going to be the last time I do the potion brewing just because of the fact that this is probably the most efficient simplest setup there that it, that it can be um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave Potion Brewing Systems at this. I mean, I know there's tons of other ones, but this one right here is the most simple. There's nothing to this one. It is basic redstone. Um, there, there's other ones that are only a few tiles deep. Problem is, they can, they, they are a little more complicated on the physics. This right here, it's basic physics. You don't have to really even understand redstone to get this one. But it doesn't get any simpler that I have found. But uh, that's it, guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. I'd really, really appreciate the feedback. Um, if it wasn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. It, it's it's okay because I mean I appreciate the feedback it tells me how I'm doing um, if you have anything further please give me a comment um, good or bad there too I, it doesn't matter I respond to both of them um, if you're not a subscriber and you're watching this please subscribe um, I'm always looking to if people have ideas and they want to see them done but they don't know how to do it I'm always open to doing that stuff. Um, I have done it in the past and I'm going to continue to do it. Uh, if you guys haven't been by my uh, channel server, it is, I mean, right now it kind of stinks. We're waiting for another update now that 14.2 is out. Um, you can join it, but right now it's just spectator mode and, and getting to, you can get to know people and take tours around the worlds because there's multiple worlds there. Um, and uh, if you guys find any issues, I have a Google Plus Practical Redstone channel or community where I I tend to like um, the, the server issues reported there just in case I don't happen to be on the server at the time and somebody says something. So if you guys uh, check the server out and you have any issues, please find my uh, Google Plus community. I have a, a section for server issues and please post them there. I'd really, really appreciate it. Then that gives us an idea of things that might be wrong. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. And 
make sure you guys have fun.